Hello YouTube, it's Tuesday and I'm sitting on my floor because it's really the only place where I can actually sit. I switched locations again because the lighting was bad and I wanted to show the world my kind of bluish hair. Just kidding, I lied. The lighting was actually better over there, but I don't feel like going back. Eventually, I'm going to make it completely this blue. And now, on to the point of this video. So I was scrolling through old videos on the channel, and I really couldn't think of a topic to make uh, this week's video about. But I went and I watched some of the videos that were just now posted. And Sam actually posted one about relationships, so since I really hate that topic a lot, I think I'll talk about it today. Basically, I like the idea of them, but it, if I actually had to be in one again, I don't think I could actually do that. Basically, I don't even like myself very much, so I have a hard time understanding why anyone would like me. Because... I'm five foot one. How much is that in centimeters? Hold on, hold on. Five feet and one inch is approximately 154.94 centimeters. So basically, everyone else in the world is freakishly tall compared to me. And, uh. What am I doing? I'm a twig. Um. I do dumb stuff with my hair. Um. I'm just dumb. I guess? I don't know. And yes, the whole trans thing definitely fucks that- it fucks it up for me. It just completely makes me never want to be in a relationship. And even if somebody did like me, then I would just be so paranoid that I was insufficient somehow, of course, as you can tell me. Mm. I mean, I'm just gonna be blunt here. I'm- very much afraid of getting dumped, rejected, um, etc. A plethora of terrible things because I am not a cis guy. That's the biggest stopper to me wanting to be in a relationship. I mean, well, besides the fact that I'm lazy as shit and I would probably just ruin it by being lazy as shit and not putting in any effort but that's that's got nothing to do with this video and i'm flailing i think it's great when other trans people get to be in relationships because they find somebody who's okay and accepting and will still see them for who they really are but i just i just can't imagine myself mm, no no just no it's okay <laughs> I have food, and my computer, and Wi-Fi. I don't need anything else. Okay, I'm a liar. That was a coffee cup dinging on a bottle of ink. Sorry. Um, I'm a liar. It's not okay. I really fucking hate that I can't... I mean, I won't let myself be in another relationship just because of all this shit because you know i don't have a deep voice i don't have facial hair i'm i look like a fucking 12 year old kid and i'm basically perpetually stuck in a prepubescent stage because i'm not on t i can't get it anytime soon i can't afford it my parents won't support me and i really i need them and it sucks that they won't support me but um basically I'm just, I'm, ugh. and I'm not gonna lie, I mean, if I were a cis guy, I would have lots of confidence, and I would probably try to be in relationships, and I would pursue people that I like, and I would actually put forth effort, and not just sit around and mope all day, but because I'm not cis, I have to worry about all these things that you shouldn't have to worry about. We, as trans people, have to worry about disclosure and boundaries and comfort zones and all these things that can just kill a relationship. They can just, it'll just kill it. And if you want to go ahead and be in a relationship despite all of those shitty things, and that's so awesome. Like, I'm so jealous of your ability to 
you know, do things despite the things that make you insecure. <laughs> and I think it's also really funny because a lot of a lot of people I know will ask me for help with their relationships, even though I don't really know anything about being in a relationship that's worthwhile. Because I've only ever been in ones that are kind of surface, like they're superficial. They're not deep, meaningful. Because either we haven't had enough time to grow into a meaningful relationship, or I just. I mean, I dated a bunch of guys before I knew I was a guy and not gay. I mean, I'm not gay, but there are some, I can make exceptions. Basically, basically, I'm getting off topic. Sorry. Basically, what was I saying? See, I warned you, I warned you, I definitely warned you that if my videos got too long, I would start forgetting what I was saying and I would get terribly off topic and I've, I've done that. I've gone off topic. I've deviated so far from the topic. Have I deviated from the topic? I don't even know if I've deviated from the topic. See, that's that's how rambly I got. And I'm really tired and I have not had a good day. So I'm sorry if this video is completely pointless and if I don't even think it helped anybody because I'm just being a big pessimist. And I'm trying my best. I'm sorry. I'm just not... I'm in a slump. I guess the most important thing I have to say is don't listen to my ramblings. If you want to be in a relationship, even if you don't think you'll ever get to be in one, then do whatever the hell you want. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to my pessimism. Just, just, just go out and do the things that you want to do. Because it, you'll probably end up regretting not doing things more than the things that you actually do. And I don't know what I'm saying. Just, if, if being in a relationship will make you happy, then then do it. Don't sit around and mope like me, because you're going to be miserable for the rest of your life. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and don't forget to be awesome.